Hey everybody, it's Brad here with Alt-In. Today I'm going to talk about a new feature that we recently added called Spambot Detection. Spambot Detection works by tracking the uh, return path that is used in uh, mail sent to your server and tracking the IP addresses that those messages came from. The theory being that if the same return path is used in messages from uh, multiple IP addresses, then it's possible that we have a spam bot at play. And I'm going to show you the new settings that you can configure in mDaemon to help uh, prevent this type of behavior and block those connections. So the new spam bot detection configuration screen is located under the security menu, under security settings, and then it's under the screening section, right here under spam bot detection. So the first thing we do is check this box to enable spam bot detection. And these are the settings that allow you to determine uh, how many different IP addresses can be used uh, to send mail using the same return path in a given time frame. The default values are 10 IPs in 10 minutes. So in other words, if the same from address or return path is used uh, to send mail from 10 different IP addresses in 10 minutes, then it's possible that we have a spam bot at play. And you can further, once you've determined, once Daemon has determined or detected a possible spam bot, then you can perform the following actions using these checkboxes and these settings right here. For example, you can blacklist the offending return path for a given number of minutes, by default uh, 10 minutes, or you can blacklist the offending IP address for a given number of minutes as well as shown here. Now you can also configure exemptions. So for example using the whitelist button you can exempt certain connections from the spam bot detection feature and you can do this based on the IP address, based on the IP address range, based on the from address, or based on the to address using the format uh, explained here in this file, in this in this window right here. Okay, and likewise, <clears throat> once a connection has been blocked, you can use you can use the advanced buttons here to view a list of currently blocked connections or IPs or senders in this case, and remove them from the list. So any uh, connection or any node or or computer or server that has been blocked will be listed right here. And you can simply go here via the advanced, bu advanced button and remove it from the list. Same thing applies for uh, blacklisted IP addresses as well. Again, use the advanced button shown here. And you can remove those entries from the list uh, accordingly. If a uh, potential spam bot is being blocked or has been rejected, you can optionally enter a response, a personalized uh, or custom response in the SMTP response blank or leave this field blank to use the default response. And using these two options right here you can configure exceptions to the spam bot uh, detection uh, feature. For example, authenticated connections, you can exempt authenticated connections or you can exempt uh, connections from trusted IPs. So that's just a quick overview of the spam bot uh, detection feature and uh, this is useful for helping to uh, prevent spam from reaching your server and blocking those connections outright. So if you have questions uh, leave us a comment in the comments section and uh, stay tuned for uh, more tutorials in the near future and have a great day.